Whether you like it or not, comic book movies are now a part of our culture. Our valiant heroes are more popular than ever before. And thanks to the success of Deadpool and Logan, the world is in a buzz over the insane idea of, get this, R-rated comic book movies. So that brings me to the question in the title of this video. After an introduction, of course. I'm Jocelyn the Intern, I do all the research nobody else wants to, straight from the desk of Death Battle. All right, here we go. Should Deadpool 2 really be rated R? Yeah, no fucking shit it should. I mean, duh. But now that you're here, let me explain the real point I'm trying to make. Just because Deadpool and Logan are awesome and very successful doesn't mean that every comic book movie under the sun should also be rated R. Sure, the addition of the F word, some extra gore, and even the occasional pair of boobies can help make the world of an anti-hero feel more fleshed out. However, it can also do the opposite. I mean, can you really imagine Captain America running around dropping F-bombs and severing limbs? But fine, yeah, of course you can imagine it, but that doesn't necessarily mean it would be good. The reason I mention this is because the studios are clearly watching people's responses. And if we don't express our rationale for this new cinema phenomenon, we're all going to end up regretting it. Because trust me, out of all the giant media industries, none of them are as easily misguided as Hollywood. Just look at the early 90s, for example. We had a handful of solid Batman films. Even if they were declining in quality, they were still good. Some of the smaller comic houses even got in on the action with movies like Tank Girl and The Crow. And it was all pretty great. Naturally, the studios took notice, and all they heard was the blind chance of everyone asking for more comic book movies. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we ended up with movies like Batman and Robin and The Lowest of Lows, Steel with Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of the characters we know and love are superheroes for the exact same reason they shouldn't have R-rated movies. These guys are pretty much as goody two-shoes as two-shoes can be goody. And there is no reason, aside from maybe having an extra nasty villain, that pretty much any of, let's say, the Avengers should be running around murdering the shit out of people like an angry old Wolverine. Even for a character like Batman, it doesn't make sense in a majority of the scenarios. Yeah, he's a violent vigilante, but 99% of the time, the most damage he does to a typical goon is knocking them out or breaking an arm. For example, Adam West's goofy and fun Batman should be PG at the most. Even the much darker Batman from the animated series wouldn't really benefit from an R rating. However, if a live action movie was made from Frank Miller's Dark Knight, then an R rating might be more fitting. Oh, how about the animated movie Under the Red Hood? It came in just under an R rating by a hair, and to be honest, it probably could have benefited from the R rating. That's because it was clearly the intent of the original comics creators to make a much darker story. I mean, if all we say is give us more R-rated superhero movies, there's a damn good chance we're going to end up with some sort of try-hard edgelord Batman running around with a bat-shaped M16 laying down as many thugs as he does F-bombs. Don't act like it can't happen either. I mean, how do you think we ended up with movies like Speed 2 and Catwoman? For crying out loud, Nick Cage was almost Superman. Think about that. To put it simply, Deadpool is not good because it's rated R. Deadpool is good because it's a great adaptation of the source material. And that is what we need to be praising. After all, it's not like it's the first superhero movie to be rated R. Hell, there are plenty of great R-rated comic romps. V for Vendetta, The Watchmen, arguably Constantine. And hell, I'll even throw in two out of the three Blade movies. Oh, and I bet you didn't know this, but you can add Spawn to that list as well. Even though it debuted in theaters as PG-13, the director's cut was released on both VHS and DVD with a ton of extra footage and a genuine R rating. So, until next time, remember this. If you ever get a call from Warner Brothers or 21st Century Fox, don't tell them you want more blood and cursing. Tell them you want more movies that stay true to their source. And then ask them how they got your number. Because that's weird.